TV tour to another interesting place in this wide world as cameraman Norm Slay brings the action right into your home. Presented by the F.R. Dangle Company, wholesaler distributors of fine products for home and industry. Your dealer for easy clean air filters. Valjura Heavy Duty Enamel, MF product of proven performance. And Valjura Road Tested Zone Marking Paint. I'm the purchasing agent for my company. In my job, I have to buy right. And that's why I always deal with the F.R. Dangle Company. Our maintenance department, for example, gets best results with RP Easy Clean air filters for our dust collection systems, air conditioners, and for our paint spray booths. We get them at Dangle. Now, paint, that's another very important thing to a purchasing agent. Dangle always has the answer with one of Valdura's perfect heavy-duty industrial paints. Everything from as gum for the roofs to zone marking paint for our traffic aisles. Yes, I have to buy right for my firm. So I always buy from the F.R. Dangle Company at 1114 North 4th Street, Milwaukee. I know they've been suppliers to industry for over 65 years. We're on our way to Quebec, the capital city of Quebec province in the Dominion of Canada, the only remaining walled city on the American continent north of Mexico, a fascinating city of forbidding abutments and ramparts, bristling with ancient cannon. You can almost hear the echo of heroic battles fought by British, French, and American soldiers along the St. Lawrence River. But behind those walls lies a quaint, quiet city of gracious hospitality, open to all visitors in the friendly tradition of old France. Its great harbor is big enough to berth 17 transatlantic liners and accommodate all the navies of the world at one time. The Canadian Pacific Railway owns the Chateau Frontenac, and the Canadian Pacific Railway spans the Dominion from coast to coast, maintaining excellent passenger and freight service all the way. Here on the east coast, the railway is linked to the harbor by a mile-long million-dollar tunnel under the solid rock of Cape Diamond. The harbor is equipped to handle 90,000 bushels of grain every hour on new conveyors that load directly from elevators to ships. The world-famous Chateau Frontenac can be reached by car only through the arched gates of what was once an inner fortress in the walled city, vividly recalling the days of siege and battle at this historic spot. Now it's an important social center for many people in political life and an attraction for tourists. Quebec is Canada's oldest city. It's the only large Canadian metropolis where French is still spoken almost exclusively. The other large cities are highly Americanized. They resemble Detroit or Cleveland. Overhanging the lower town of Quebec is a promenade or boardwalk. And at the east end of the promenade is the statue of Samuel de Champlain, famous French founder of Quebec, whose figure recalls the challenging days of rattling sword, crashing musket, and booming cannon fire round the heights of Cape Diamond when the British soldiers of General Wolfe scaled the heights from the St. Lawrence below to defeat the great Champlain in battle. Now the quaint ferry boat plies its peaceful way across the St. Lawrence River every 20 minutes. High above on the historic embattlements, the cannon stand as grim reminders of the thunder of war over the parapets, the battle for freedom whose price was so high in human lives. On the highest point of Cape Diamond is the citadel, the heart of the fortifications, once the French king's inner retreat with 40 acres of parade ground behind its massive walls. At a cost of $25 billion, the Duke of Wellington had much of the citadel reconstructed. Now it houses the Commandant and was recently the quarters of the Royal Canadian 22nd Regiment of Courcelette fame with an artillery museum beneath the Commandant's office. Forward, hark, hop, two, three, four. 
Not far from the Citadel and the Chateau Frontenac is Quebec's oldest house, Maison Montcalm. Built in 1674 and preserved to this day. But you know, some say Montcalm never actually lived in it. Negotiating the steep hill from the upper town to the lower town was once a real problem. But time and road improvements have made it much easier. However, it's still a rugged drive down the steep winding hill in the winter time. Leading down from Mountain Hill are the breakneck steps leading down to Little Champlain Street in the lower town. There's also an elevator that'll take you down and bring you back. Actually, this wholesale district of the lower town is deserted and dark at night, but in the daytime it offers a holiday of hobby shopping for the happy tourist. The French Canadians are skillful with their hands in wool, leather, and woodwork. And some of these little hand-carved figures are priceless in artistry, yet very reasonable in price. Sold. In the lower town, the Hotel Louis XIV preserves the quaint old world atmosphere, serving exclusively French-Canadian cuisine. And in the square, the bust of Louis XIV is another of the many prominent monuments to colorful figures of French history. North of Quebec, the neat suburban streets show houses consistently running three stories high and featuring outside circular stairs, no doubt providing more living space inside. A little farther north of Quebec in the peaceful countryside is Kent House, once the summer home of the Duke of Kent. There's a Kent House also in the city, but it's only the fast-moving tourist who ever gets them mixed up. Out here, the cab service might appear a little odd, but at least you don't have to tip the cabbie. He'll settle for a pat on the head. And the young French Canadians who rent these carts spice their idle moments with a race. No bets, please. Montmorency Falls are 250 feet high, 100 feet higher than Niagara Falls. And the story goes that a farmer, his wife, and a little child from deep freeze to TV, the quaint custom of baking homemade bread in the outdoor brick oven still remains. That's a peel pole used to remove the bread, 
and there's nothing tastier than a crisp loaf of hot bread fresh out of the oven. Each loaf weighs about three pounds. The hot bread is for sale at popular roadside stands. Say, if the Canadian kids like jam with their bread, I'd hate to be the papa who buys all the jam for all that bread. Young America may not remember too much about the Citadel, the historic battlefields, or the Parliament buildings in Canada, but he can sure rattle off the flavors of ice cream to be found in every roadside stand along the Canadian way. Says he, Quebec, a fine place to eat. Mr. Catch, you have whiskers with ice cream. Just outside Quebec on the highway to Montreal, the trim white cottages of a Canadian motel are typical, but this one has the advantages of a lake or lagoon right at the front door. Usually you find motels with pools only in Florida, Texas, Arizona, and California. But there was something even more unusual about this motel on this particular day. You see, there was a young Canadian couple stopping here on vacation, and they turned out to be Madeline and the Red Marble, professional fire eaters and sword swallowers, and they agreed to put on a private little performance for our TV sleigh ride. English, French, or French-Canadian, this fellow's got a mouthful. They're real metal blades, coated with oil for lubrication, and that anxiety on his wife's face is real. As part of their regular act, she always examines the blades to prove they're real. He says, you know, I thought we were getting away from work for a vacation. Well, bottoms up. That's show business. And that's Quebec. Everything from brick ovens and homespun hooked rugs to roaring waterfalls and vacationing sword swallowers. It's an interesting place for the summer tourist and an exciting resort for the winter sports lover. Quebec, Queen of the North, famous fortress city on the St. Lawrence River, guarding North American inland waterways and a famous resort for American travelers. Paint, air filters, valves and fittings, all these and many more factory maintenance and production products are supplied by the F.R. Dengel Company. That case of heavy duty paint, for example, is going to protect the floor and machinery in a south side power station. Those RP Easy Clean filters are going into the paint booths of a metal fabricating company. The tube turns welded fittings and Powell valves will provide trouble-free, long-lasting service at another plant. Yes, F.R. Dangle Company has been filling Milwaukee Industries' pipe tool and supply needs for more than 65 years. Call Dangle for the answer to all your plant maintenance problems. F.R. Dangle, 1114 North 4th Street, Milwaukee. Your dealer in fine products for home and industry, F.R. Dangle Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, brings you cameraman Norm Slay's television sleigh ride each week at the same time. 